Right now, it's time to welcome uh, from Need for Speed Payback producer Marcus Nelson. Marcus, good to see you. Hey, How's good everything? See you. Yes, it's good. Uh, it's good. You know, it's the day after uh, kind of unveiling, um, you know, gameplay from you know Need for Speed Payback. Yes. It feels good. Well, Your I got to tell you, uh, the action racing category, I. I loved the Burnout franchise for many, many years from Criterion EA. When I saw the footage yesterday, I mean, it looked incredible. But I love the, you know, the sense of action. And I'm a guy that, you know, racing games like Forza looks incredible, but I really want to get in there. I want that sort of cinematic action. Um, and it feels like, you know, Need for Speed, been a couple, you know, a couple years since we've seen a game. Is this, uh, would you describe it as an action driving game now? I mean, is that absolutely, really yeah. absolutely. I think if you think about the Need for Speed brand, it's always kind of been that little bit rough around the edges, right? You go fast, you drift yeah. the corners, you crash through stuff. Um, and this is just, you know, more kind of putting emphasis on that, I think. Yeah. Um, and, and the whole kind of narration of a story, of people yeah. coming together, accomplishing something together, um, you know, in this world. Um, and it just feels like a very natural, you know, extension of, of, of the brand. Mm -hmm. So obviously big, you know, movie style sequences. We saw, you know, Fast and the Furious style kind of big epic sequences. Um, we saw this level, the canyon um, level, but tell us, I mean, what is the scope of the game? What, you know, this is one sequence, but where else are we going? What does yeah, it look like? you know, it really is important to, to, to get across to all the people that love Need for Speed for maybe other reasons than just, uh, you know, that action element, that the racing is still there. Okay. You, know, you can still, you know, go go racing against your friends. It's you pretty open world, world is it? It's absolutely an open world. Okay. Uh, for the first time, we've been able to open it up, so you can basically kind of go, you know, straight into the desert, drive wherever okay. you want. Um, the the customization, as always, is very deep. Uh, we we made it, um, you know, more um, um, accessible for yep. people. Um, you know, it can be kind of frightening to go in there, but now it's it's both deeper and, and more accessible. We're bringing another feature called Derelicts into the game, which is basically a way for us to expand on uh, customization. Not only kind of going from a car like that to you know a, a supercar of that, but also you know finding old scrapped cars you know somewhere in the world and then take them to whatever you want them to be. Wow. Um, so you can keep them rusty and scrappy and just you know performance uh, optimize them to go around in, in that if that's what you like, or you just take them to one of the super builds. I haven't had a chance to go up to EA Play to play it, so forgive me if I don't know everything yeah. about it. But the uh, so it's open world. There's obviously this linear kind of story missions, but there are sort of side missions. It's set up similar to like a, you know a GTA or something where you can go in a bunch of different directions. And, but there is a core narrative you can carry through. Exactly. You you have that open world, and if you want to just part you know take part of that and go yeah. around and collect stuff, or you know go through speed cameras or, uh -huh. or jumps, um, you can do that. And then you have the narrative kind of on top of that. So we have the base Need for Speed experience yeah. uh, in that open world, and then the, the, the narrative that you you kind of is, is lingered through that experience. Yeah. And multiplayer, can I can my friends sort of jump into the world with me and have races together, or how do you blend the world together? Well, you know, multiplayer uh, for this one is is this is single player. Single you know, player play, only. You play alone in this world, okay. and then if you want to go and play multiplayer, you yeah. simply come connect to them, um, match make to them, and go out in this world together. Okay, so you obviously bring the world. cars that you've yep. you've um, created in your single player experience. Yep. Um, um, so you can showcase kind of your creations to other people. Yep. Now, tell us about the action set pieces, because I'm sure you've got some, some crazy things that we're going to see uh, throughout this game. How, how stunt-driven is this game? Um, hot chases, because that's always been need for speed for me since I was a kid I, in the 90s. It was all about you know hot pursuit, things like that. You know, I, love how you, I love how you, how you, how you bring out cops, because it's absolutely one of the core tenets of the brand, right? Yeah. Um, you know, it's all you know, need for speed. You need to have that edge of your seat experience. Um, have consequence to your racing, and cops yeah. really provide that for us. So cops are, have a very big presence in this game for sure. Okay. Um, it comes in very many aspects, um, you know, from 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 cars to more stronger cars to to roadblocks um, to right. Put down my spikes, stuff. choppers, all Absolutely. that stuff. So that's that is is that sort of the tension, or what is the rivalry in the game? Is there sort of an antagonist? There's both. Okay. You know, basically, there's a cartel called the House, uh, okay. which is kind of owning all the the city, you know the casinos, the criminals, the cops. So they throw everything at you yeah. uh, throughout this game. Wow. Uh, and you and your crew obviously have to over you know come you know um, fix that. Wow. Well, it looks obviously uh, incredible in terms of the scale of what you're doing. Tell us about the. The character that you play, uh, is there one character you sort of play through the You story? play all three characters actually okay. in this crew. You know, you have Tyler, uh -huh. you have Jess, and you have Mac. Okay. Uh, they all bring, you know, their own diverse um, type of gameplay. So the races are kind of Tyler, that's his specialty. The drifts um, and the, the drag events 
um, or the specialty of Mac. Okay. And then you have the kind of cop getaway gameplay um, is Jess's um, speciality. So throughout this game, as you encounter you know, um, different um, um, missions, yeah. you pick the character that is, is you know, best kind of suited for that. So like GTA, where you kind of pick between any of the three characters at any point, or how? You, um, you can, oh. um, up till when you come to these kind of chapter endings where yeah. they usually work together. Okay. Uh, so they're all kind of part of the same mission there. Okay. And then we actually move you to the position where you need to be. Wow. But you know, meanwhile, you, you go around, you do, do drifts and you do um, drags or races in this world, you actually choose character based on what you want to do. Wow. Well, it, I got to say, you know, running on Frostbite always looks beautiful, but uh, when I saw this and I saw the action sequences and like here, you know, the truck, I mean, it's, it's straight out of the movies. So mm -hmm. I'm sure there, there are many films that have inspired you. And uh, is it so it's all set in this sort of canyon, sort of desert? setting? Well, the world, the world is very diverse, I'd okay. say, uh, especially since, as I said, we can open it up now, yep. so you can go straight into the desert, but you have desert canyons, mountains, and, and the city, and the city is pretty substantial. We do have the city, too. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. All right, well, I can't wait, wait to wreck this, havoc. This is what you get with iteration, right? And, yeah. you know, that, as you said, that Frostbite engine is, is, is very powerful, and now we understand more of it, and it's being constantly developed, and yeah. we can just more, do more stuff with it. Well, it, I gotta say, visually, it looks uh, looks great. I can't wait to get my hands on, and we'll we'll get it uh, this holiday season, right? This fall. Yeah, you know, it releases on November tenth. November tenth, yeah. right after Xbox One X. So you'll exactly. support Xbox One X, I'm sure, right? Uh, we will be on the, that console for sure. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, thanks very much. Thank you. Great to see you. Thank you. And uh, 